like I'll lift up when you take off how you did that. You put switches up by your blinkers, how you did that? Your LV back turned to a legend, how you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis, how you did that? Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Imani Antrail. If you are new to this channel, hey girl, hey, what is popping? By the title, as you can see, today's video was going to be why I decided to quit the dental assistant program and why I am deciding to join the surgical technologist program. I am very excited about that too. Let's just get right into it. Pretty much, I uh, joined this dental assistant program in, I believe, February, and I was supposed to be done with it in eight months. The first thing I found out after dropping the program was i don't even need you don't even need a dental assistant a certificate or a license to become a dental assistant you can literally go apply to your local dental office orthodontist office and they can train you for i think four to six weeks and you can use that experience to work anywhere you want so i was going to be paying eighteen thousand dollars to get a dental assistance degree and i was going to be wasting my money so it was god clearly because i <laughs> Yeah, okay. But that's not the reason I left. The reason I left was because my teacher called in that day. The director of the program came in. She trained our class. And I was, when I went on break, I was walking around the school. And I started to get confident. I started to get excited again. And I'm looking at the surgical, surgical technology program, respiratory therapy program, the nursing LPN or in program. I was looking at the beds and I was looking at the dolls they had and it, it, it made me feel excited. Like I wanted to do something better for myself, right? Five minutes before class started back up, I was like, hey, um, I'm, I'm thinking I wanna switch program. And she looked at me like, to what? And I was like, okay, now I feel nervous again because I just built all this damn confidence to come in here and tell you I wanted to be, you know, a better version of myself. And you looked at me like, it better not be MA, which is medical assistant. I was like, no, um, I'm thinking I want to try respiratory therapy or nursing, right? And she was like, well, I'm done. well, you're going to need to take the HESI test. I'm, okay, so how do I go about taking the HESI test? Mind you, this is the, the director. She was like, well, you need to score a 75 or higher on the test. You need, um, first of all, you can't, you can't look how you look. And I'm like, what that mean? Yeah, I had my hair like this, but it was long, 28 inches. I had a scarf on my hair because, mind you, my classes were at nighttime. I had on my scrubs and I had on some, like, slides, right? And she was like, well, you can't look you can't look like a dental assistant going and trying to be a, a respiratory therapist. And I'm like, so can you give me some examples of what I could look like? Well, first of all, you can't wear scarves. You can't wear slides. And you can't wear the hairstyle. I'm like, okay, well, can I wear a bob? You know, can I wear a bob? Okay. Can I wear a bob? Can I wear a ponytail? Sorry, yeah, my camera be down. I don't know. So then she started talking about the HESI test, right? Um, you have to be in there for four hours. You can't get, you really cannot get below a 75. And then you have to have the time. I'm like, okay, I have those things. But it was the energy she was giving off, y'all. Like, no, right? So I'm looking at her like, you know, so what do you think can help me, you know, get us up to the program? She was like, well, you got to change your hairstyle. I said, so, right. I said, so I can't wear my bust down middle part. She was like a bust down middle part. What even is that? I'm like 20 inches long hair. Like the, it was a white girl. I'm like, pretty much what she got. She was like, no, that's not going to work. I said, is it because I'm black? She was like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, then what is it? She was like, you're like a dental assistant. Okay, cool. So I went and talked to the um, like person who was like, who's over everybody. And I talked to her about it, y'all. They tried to play on my face like I was being ignorant. Help me, okay? All you had to do was give me information about what could help me get into the program. And instead, you were making me feel like I wasn't worthy. That's how I took it. So I haven't seen her since then. Um, you know, and I dropped the program. I went back up to the school. This was in February. So I went back up to the school in July. And I just got this like big rush of like of energy and like confidence. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take the LPN test, right? So when I went in, I filled the LPN test twice. Um, I got the first time I got a really bad score. The second time I got a 74, right? You need a 75 in order to get into the program. I got a 74. Okay, so I was very sad about that. And then 
when I talked to my administrator, she was like, you know, you do qualify to become a surgical technician or a surgical technologist. I'm like, okay, what is that? Because growing up, you only hear about lawyers, doctors, nurses, me personally. My mom has been trying to make me, make me become a nurse since I came out her womb, okay? But, so I feel like it was kind of like brainwashed, like I'm brainwashed to become a nurse. So, I went and I went to go look at the surgical technologies room and I'm like, wow, like this is pretty interesting. It looked, it looked like something that would be fun. Um, I did a lot of research on TikTok, YouTube, and... I decided that I was going to go ahead and go with it. I even looked up how much a surgical technologist makes. So surgical technologists, when they start off, the starting pay is 23 to 25. And then after two years of working and getting experience, you make $2,000 a week to $3,000 a week. So I'll be a travel surgical tech after two years. And I'm very excited about that because, you know, the girl's going to be paid. I feel like the version of myself from February and today is too... I'm talking about today, today. Like, it's two completely different people. Like, I'm I'm not giving the same energy I was giving when I was going to school to be a dental assistant. And when she said that, she was like, you you look like a dental assistant. Like, what do that mean? I, I, said, I, I got offended. I'm not saying people... I'm not saying dental assistants are not... Like they are, they are bosses to me. If you getting, if you getting up and going to work and going to school and getting certificates, you a boss to me. But I just felt like she wanted me to feel like it wasn't, I wasn't on a a, a great enough level to become something greater. You know, that's how I took it. Um, and then she also told me she was the the woman that was discriminated against me. She was like, "It's levels to this shit, black woman. It's levels to this shit. You have to work to get to these levels, baby." I went in there in July. I took my test. Failed to become LPN, but I passed to become a surgical technologist. So, so I, I don't know if she still worked there, but I can't wait to walk in there with my scrubs on, okay, and see her and be like, surgical tech motherfucking knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Because she tried to play in my face. So to make a long story short, you guys, I will, I'm basically telling you guys that you're going to be coming on a journey with me to become a surgical technologist. And I'm going to have to work. This is really, really a risk for me because I could have went any other route. But this is the for me, right? To my, in my opinion, the best route for me. Um, my face itch. And I'm excited. And I just, I really just want this to work. I want this to work. Because I had three months to decide and now I start school. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys follow along with me on this college surgical technologies journey. And, you know, I can probably teach you something. If you are interested in becoming a surgical technologist, comment down below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Instagram is right here. You can go follow me on Instagram. You can DM me, ask me any questions that you have. And I'm definitely going to answer. I'm like, I'm doing this and I'm excited. And I, I'm grateful. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered the some of the questions that y'all had because a lot of y'all was, yeah, no, for sure. The, some of the questions were, are you still in a program? And the answer to that is simply just no. You know? Yeah. So, see you guys later. I will be posting another video in the next few weeks when I go to my first day of surgical technology school. So, make sure you tap in for that. Subscribe to see that video. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.